explain it to you how to draw a concave lens and then we will understand the ray diagrams basically there are two ray diagrams only for concave lens so for that we require <coughs> we require a compass and a pencil and we require a scale right so very easily i am going to explain it to you that how can we actually draw a concave lens perfectly so first of all you have to take a pencil and you have to draw a straight line like this right now what we are going to do is we are going to take any arbitrary value like uh, this is 5 centimeter right you can even take 4 centimeter or 5 centimeter so let me take this as 4 centimeter now I am going to place the tip of the needle of the compass over here like this and make sure that you don't put it in middle because the lens would be formed over here then right and very rigidly make sure that this compass doesn't move like this and you have to remember this point so for that I am going to mark this point with a pencil now since this point was the radius was the center of this circle right so this will be called as 2f I'll let you know afterwards now the same distance you don't change it from other side place it over here and then you may vary the position of the needle as per you want to make the lens thick or thin so here I am going to make an intermediate lens and then like this now I am supposed to mark these two points now look people this I will join it to form a concave lens This is our concave lens ready now people since you have selected this as the center and center is called as 2f over here so these two points are 2f so these two points are 2f this is the optical center right and the midpoint of f and 2f and o is would be the focus so now this is approximately 4.8 so that means 2.4 this point would be called as f and again over here this is approximately 4.8 so again 2.4 would be the focus so people we are now ready with the concave lens you cannot just draw the lens and put 2f and f anywhere you will never get the correct answers for the ray diagram because you are calling this point as 2f which is the center so center of curvature should be on the center of the circle which you are drawing if you just draw it like this and put anywhere c and f i mean 2f and f that would be wrong right so now i have taught you how to draw concave lens now let's move on so we would be now continuing with the image formation and now here for not wasting the time i have already drawn this concave lens and uh, so that we can have more discussion over here right now we know people that we have to keep an object anywhere on the principal axis and you will get always the image between f and o right so what am i going to do is i'm going to keep the object anywhere on the principal axis so let me keep the object here like this and this is our object now we know the rules for image formation the first ray should be parallel to the principal axis penetrate it half inside the lens till here now first ray parallel it would pass through focus no it would since it is a diverging lens the ray would go in such a way that if you extend you will get the focus right so first ray if it is parallel the ray would go in such a way that when you extend it backwards it will pass through focus 
Now the second ray, you have to pass it through the optical center and you know that all rays which pass through the optical center, they go straight without any kind of deviation. So now the refracted rays, they are not meeting. So the image has to be virtual. So whenever the refracted rays, they do not meet, the image is always virtual. So I'm going to extend them backwards. So finally they meet it over here. So this is the point where the image is formed. Why I have drawn the erect image? Because it is virtual and virtual images are always erect. So now let's jot down these points over here. Where is the object? You can, guys, you can put the object anywhere on the principal axis. You will get the image between F and O. So position of the object here, it is mentioned between F and 2F, but you can put anywhere. on principal axis. Position of image always between F and O. Always between F and O. The nature of image, it is always virtual and direct. Why it is virtual and direct? Because it is a diverging lens. And in diverging lens, the rays never meet, refracted rays. So you extend them in backward direction and always virtual and direct image and the size would be smaller or diminished. Correct? So now this was case one. There are only two ray diagrams. And for the next case, let me take another sheet of paper in which I have already drawn the lens. Again, I have already drawn the lenses. This is F, this is 2F, again this is F and 2F. And I have drawn the lens in the same manner as I have told you before. Now here again, the rays are parallel and coming from infinity. So I am believing that the object is at infinity and the rays coming are parallel. So if you see parallel rays to the principal axis or incident rays parallel, that means the object is at infinity. Now we do know that since it is a diverging lens, the ray would go like this in such a way that if you extend them in the backward direction, you will get the focus that we are already aware about, right? So if I extend them like this, Since due to diverging action, the parallel rays, they diverge, but when I extend them backwards, we get the image on F. Now, see the position of the object, it is at infinity. Position of image, rays, they are not meeting. So if you extend them, they meet at focus. So image is formed at focus. Refracted rays, when they don't meet, it is an example of virtual image and virtual images are always erect. So virtual and erect size of the image again diminished. I must say highly diminished. Why it is so? Because if this point where the where refracted rays appears to meet, if that point is very far away from the principal axis, then and only then the image will become greater. So had it been that these two rays are meeting over here, then the longer image would have been formed. But the point where the rays are meeting appears to meet is on the principal axis. So image is highly diminished. So the images from this lens are always virtual and direct and the image size would be smaller and you will always find the image between F and O. This is optical center and in between these two only you will get the image. Now let's talk about the magnification value people. We know magnification is equal to HI upon HO, correct? Now height of the object is always positive. The object is always above the principal axis. But here due to the virtual image, the image is also erect. So the image height is also positive. So positive upon positive is a positive answer. Now, we know that the height of the image is smaller than the height of the object. 
so if i place it over here some number in the denominator then the numerator has to be still lesser than the denominator so that means the magnification value would be less than 1 so final answer the magnification should be less than plus 1 this should be your answer maybe would like to highlight this point that this is the magnification value for the concave lens and uh, since concave lenses are diverging in nature they are used to treat the eye disorders right okay so hopefully people you have enjoyed the explanation and please do subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video